So we're finally getting to the good part. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah. All it takes is one job, one job, and everything is gonna be okay. We got the Ultra or Ultra Cab primed, blocked, primed, blocked. This prime, it, it turned out good enough to paint. Had to do the inside. And I tell you what, blocking all this has been just absolutely awful. We have a lot of, a lot of time into this. But it's very clean. Probably one of the cleanest cabs out there. A lot of it's original, you know? It's like, those are original steps. Original rockers. That's pretty, pretty rare. We uh, did replace the cab corners, but now got my pre-cleano that I keep on spraying. Hopefully I don't spray it on my eyes, but I've sprayed it in my armpit, I think. Anyways, pre-cleano, start to mask this up. Gonna paint the bottom first and then flip it back down and we got a, some two tones to do and I don't like to paint the dash when I'm painting the outsides. So there's going to be a lot of masking and uh, painting different sections at different times. Right now we'll just focus on the bottom, do one step at a time. So that's our primer sealer. We're going to go to color next and you'll get to see the awesome color we're painting this 56 Chev. That primer sealer, I use this 1.4. Anybody in the know might be making fun of how old my guns are. I bought my original guns and I still have the same ones. I've uh, replaced a couple of parts in a couple of them, but really they're still running same stuff I've always had, haven't been rebuilt. Um, I just keep them clean, man. But these are uh, some Sadas, Sadas, however you choose to pronounce it. So that was our, our primer sealer, which was in white because we're doing a light color here. So we'll do our base next and then we'll do our clear. I went ahead and got uh, enough uh, base color to do the whole truck. I got a gallon. That should do us. It's a uh, one to one mix ratio on your your color. And so if I buy a gallon of paint that means I have two gallons sprayable. You mix up your uh, primer sealer. You wait 15 minutes with this stuff before you can spray it. You spray it, you wait a half hour, and then you spray your base coat. After you've used, sprayed your base coat, you can basically go straight to clear, but you want to give yourself 10-15 minutes there on your base before you start clearing. we got some new clear that we're trying out, um, and so we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to be pretty awesome. It's a new company that I'm using called Level. They do, uh, I've been using their um, cutting and buffing products and they're pretty awesome. Um, they're actually going away from using like the 3M and stuff that I've always used was more of a petrol product. Their cutting and buffing products aren't. And they seem to uh, not die back as much. Um, we're gonna try their, their clear. They're telling me um, just to do two coats of this and they can cut and buff it. So. It's supposed to be uh, thicker, it's supposed to go further, it's supposed to be better, it's supposed to be shinier, it's supposed to level out smoother, it's supposed to be dry in 15 minutes, it's supposed to repel stuff, it's supposed to be just the bee's knees. Again. So that's our blue. We're gonna do a two tone on this truck. That ought to look pretty bitchin'. Let that dry up for about 10 minutes. We'll tack cloth it, which will kind of get rid of some of the 
overspray roughness that uh, collects on the different sides when you're painting the other sides kind of a deal. Get our two coats of clear on here. Two coats has always been a really nice number and a lot of times your paint will look good at two coats. But a lot of times, especially on this custom stuff, you'll need, uh, I usually do four coats because you're, of your cutting and buffing. And usually I'll even do four coats, cut it with 800 and then I'll do additional four coats or two coats after that and then cut and buff the the next. You can kind of see there that blue that would all been like orange peel when you uh, clear over it so it saved that there was a bug in there it got that off of there so good stuff. Alright, so we got a shiny bottom, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got it to run in one spot, and there you can see it, and it's kind of good, it's kind of good to know that there's a point where it'll run. I was having trouble getting it on thick enough, and I think that my gun is a little too small of a tip on it and so I need to uh, probably get a little bigger clear gun for this so we'll get that before we do the outside but uh, yeah that's that shiny bottom boys so masking extraordinaire here look at all that masking my lordy, just to paint our inside pieces here. These are going to be a, a gray color, flat gray. So we mask that off. I even gave myself a nice little edge there and then we'll go back to the blue. But major amount of masking. But I couldn't wrap a birthday present for you. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you very good spraying. You'll just see me laying in there getting covered in overspray. So I'll just uh, show you a clip when I get this sprayed here. So you can kind of see the little edge that I gave it there on the door jam. It'll look really nice with the uh, blue. And I think I'm going to take the blue down and around that. But you can kind of see, I don't know if I can make it shine quite right. It's kind of hard to see with the camera. But it has a really cool metallic to it. Really neat gray. It's going to look awesome with the baby blue. Blue! Clear! One job, one job, and everything is gonna be